안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Nami. I'm currently uh, bald faced right now because I haven't done my brows yet. But I did want to make this quick video showing you how I fill in my dyed eyebrows. They are um, bleached and dyed orange to match my phoenix hair before I did this red. But my roots are also growing out on my brows. So I want to show you a close up of what that looks like. As well, I think it was, let me check. It's been two weeks and two days since I did bleach my brows. So this is what they look close up and I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer as well, but I just wanted to give you an overview of how my brows look with the roots growing under. My hair is like pitch black. It's the like pretty much the blackest black along with my eyes. You can see that there's no almost no hint of brown um, that's basically the same shade as my hair so I feel like my roots give it a bit more shape than it was when I was first bleached and dyed orange if I give you a nice close-up view you could see the roots growing there all throughout the brow and this side as well I have a little bit of a boo-boo um, I tried to conceal it but I got lazy so to fill in my brows, I just used two brow powders uh, since I've bleached my roots. Sorry, bleached my brows. I'm so used to saying bleach my roots. I used two shades. This one's completely like almost done, but you can see that it's a pretty ashy brown and it comes off quite light and ashy. And this one's a little bit more dark and warm toned. This is from a wholesale company that makes wholesale products for makeup artists so there is no brand on this and there's no name of the shadow um, I just bought it at the warehouse but I can give you a nice close-up view of the color and then this one is the NYX nude matte eyeshadow that's pretty beat up because I always used to use this for my brows in bare my soul and I just use any angled brow brush I tend to like them a little stiffer so that you can really pack on the color flat onto your eyebrow um, instead of having like a flimsy one that just throws color everywhere so here is a swatch of the darker shade and then a swatch of the lighter shade the more ashy one so going in with the dark shade first, I do three different strokes. So I go first under my arch and establish my brow shape and structure. And I generally like to draw um, the more flatter Korean slash Asian eyebrow styles to suit my softer features that aren't as angular and prominent and structured as Western features because if you do like a really angled brow, it does bring more structure in your face, but it could clash with your um, softer and flatter features if you have a face like mine. Take another dab and I go right on top of my arch, build my tail and build the peak of the arch oh my gosh my eyes always twitch did you see that my eyes always twitch when i do something like detailed on either myself or my clients like eyeliner or stuff like this so i just go in with the rest and just fill in the rest of that tail and then i take another dab and draw in and start building the shape of half of my front brow also filling in almost like building the bottom of that front as well with the rest of what's on my brush and then I take a dab of my lighter shade and I just feather out this inside brow and kind of go one two three to further soften this fade. And then I'll take a look at it and see if I need any additional structure or pigmentation. Usually I like to add a bit more of that dark color right in the middle of my tail. And I stroke my brush backwards as well to kind of get the product onto my skin, not just on the hairs. Because sometimes your brow hairs might inhibit you from getting product on your brow and you can see that when you brush backwards if 
there's any skin showing through it means that you didn't actually get the product on your brow let's use the kids oatmeal pack to show you how it looks with the brow this is just my basic everyday makeup and without the brow I look like a fresh egg. If you did enjoy this video and would like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified right when new videos drop. That's usually the time that we do take to reply to your comments and I love talking to you. So thank you to everyone who does come early and I will see you next time.